Yo! What is going on, Free South Friday? Sup? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome, welcome. Morning, sir. Sup? Sup? Morning to you. Oh boy. New boner FPV map today. Very exciting. Haunted Castle. I'm all about it. Uh, I'm downloading the file now. This second. So, this isn't exactly uh, my first look at it. I got to see it when it was, I guess, yeah, I guess it was done. Uh, but only briefly. And there's been changes since. So I'm downloading that now and then we're in there. What are the plans for the weekend? Are we flying anywhere? Are we going anywhere? What are we doing? Mr. Boner FPV. All right, track has been acquired. Uh, All right, we are all good. Uh, let's do one restart just to make sure, because I don't trust Velocidrome when I have like the previous version of a map, and then I get the newer updated version, Preparing and I launch to the wrong one. Fly across the country. To drive and fly across the country, my Lanta. Uh, where are you going from and where are you going to? Where are you headed? Drive and fly. Oof. Brave. Very brave. Okay. Here we go. From Arizona to Florida. Ooh, baby. That's some distance. Well, uh, safe journey. Safe trip. I hope it's not... Uh, a bad trip at all. I hope it's a good trip. Uh, okay. Alright, first off, you spawn different. You spawn out here now. Last night, you spawned on a dive tower. This one. Which, I don't mind saying, I loved spawning right here. You spawned right here. Hang on. I'll show you why I loved it. So you spawn like on this edge, basically. This is where you spawned last night and I could just, you could just backflip, right? Ooh, we added LEDs in here too. That looks way cooler. Uh, that's a cool little dive down into the basement. Uh, the LEDs make it look so much cooler though. Ooh, little sloppy. A little sloppy. It's my first time on the sticks today. Ah! Save it. Oh god. Oh. Did we get a? We got a. <laughs> we got another jump scare unicorn. Taking the classic car and flying everything that looks cool should take a couple weeks. Oof. Uh, what car are you taking? I love me a classic car. It was my first project car was a 1972 Nova. My brother and I worked on it. 1975 Buick Riviera. Ooh, nice. I drove from Maryland to Ohio in a, I think it was a 60, I think it was a late 60s. It was a, called a Buick Wildcat. It was a rowdy boat of a car, man. It was massive, uh, but it was a fun ride. Yo, woo, woo, woo. Yo, woo, 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 woo. What up, buddy? Just checking out this uh, this map. Okay, so I first off, I have to say this. Hang on. 
Stefan, let, 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 me, let me holler at you real quick. First, okay, I understand this spawn point completely because what a view you have, right? Right when you spawn in. But I was making the argument for the spawn up here. Oh, God, I'm seeing all these extra dives you just added into. I'm going to have to go check those out. But not having it here anymore makes me sad. And I'll tell you why. Because I kept spawning in last night and just doing, like, the, the flip dive down the center of the tower. And now there's other spots, too. Oh, man. I can't decide. Because I understand why you put it over there. It makes perfect sense to get, like, a really nice view of this massive castle right when you spawn in. But that flip, like the flip from the spawn into the into the dive. I also like the LEDs in the dive now. Very nice. That's I will fix look. that just for you. No, you don't have to. You don't have to. I was just making an argument for it. You should you should get a vote from a bunch of people, not just me. I just thought it was a cool spawn point because you could just flip, like do a tight backflip off of this railing, and just go right down into the dive. It, that's all. Just because it was a cool it was a cool way to spawn in you don't need to go changing things uh just for that it's fine it's still cool the way that it is what's up people what is going on there sir oh that's new i don't remember that guy walking around the halls before that's cool hi i'm here too oh he's here too oh i'm assuming uh your daughter's on one account then Oh, <laughs> I like that. There are some ghosts in the tunnels. That's sick. Nice. I'm glad you got your trademark on this one. Ooh. There are some ghosts, that is for sure. This big guy. All right, I gotta see. What pack is the space map on in Velocidrome? Gotta see the rest of the, uh, the rest of this. The um, space map and the majority of these Boner FPV maps lately that I've been flying are all from the combat pack. The combat pack, which should be renamed it should be uh it probably won't be but it really should be Woo. oh god i had to bail that was sketch way too much flipping and flopping in that one Oh, I got new gimbals coming this week too. Oh, I'm pumped. I can finally stop just having the automatic smoky exit, right roll. There is a dragon head that appears sometimes. In the smoky exit? I'm Evie, Boner's daughter. I yes, Evie. I, I should have addressed you by name, because I know your name. He told me your name. But to everybody else, that is Evie. Not enough. Not enough. I love this little uh, this center part here that you did. This is fun to try to like get your trippy right in the center of the oval. Looks crazy too. Like the new two dives? Yes, I do. Very much. You can fly well. Oh, thank you. I've heard you've been practicing. I'm going to need to see some DVR footage, by the way, from this whoop. 
that I'm sending. I'm gonna need to see some, some freestyle skills. Oh man, how nice will it be to have my roll not just do its own thing? Go to the smoky exit and wait a bit. Smoky exit. Uh, in the basement, in that dive tunnel? Is that what you're talking about? Where was that? Uh, this way. This way? No. Wait a minute. Wait a second. I got all turned around. Where am I looking again? This one. Are you talking about the smoky exit down here? You know? Uh, which one is that? This guy? Or no? There's so many smoky... When you leave the tunnel. <laughs> There's so many smoky things. Uh, when you leave the tunnel. Is that this way? The other way is the freestyle room, right? The other exit. No, wait. This is the freestyle room. Man, I am all turned around in here. I gotta get get used to the layout of this real quick. Hang on now. Yo, dude. Yo! What up, clown? Get down there. So up this ramp, you're saying? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, it comes back. Oh my God. That's terrifying. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I like that. That's good. That's good. Oh, oh, he ate me. Oh, yo, to yourself. And there are some scary unicorns in the caskets. Oh, there! I saw those earlier, the jumping ones. I saw those. Those are good. I knew exactly what, as soon as I saw his little head poke out. I only saw it for a split second. I knew exactly what it was. All right. So here's how little I flew this last night. I didn't even realize there was two of these oval towers. I thought there was only one. Like, that's why I came out here earlier and I was like, wait a minute, why is, why is there a second one? <laughs> oh man, so yeah, I've barely flown this map. Looks amazing. How's the performance on this one? Good so far, it's uh, it's steady, really, because there's um, it's all pretty compact. So I feel like everything loads in pretty quickly, and Do then doesn't like it? load out or unload, whatever you want to call it, despawn. Do I like it? I I love it so far. Ooh, and you added this in here too. Even though I just slammed into it. <laughs> uh, I wanted to see, yeah, I wanted to see how that flowed. It looks like it'll flow really good, though. Because that little spot's cool. Um, I just felt like it was missing a little something. Just a little something. There are just gaps everywhere. I love this. It's just like sewing. The unicorns are possessed. You know? They have red eyes. Nice music. Oh, thank you. Kudos to Rue on completing the challenge, by yes. the way. Yes, yes. She aced it, hey. Absolutely. Yeah, she did. Killed it. 
I commented on her post when she posted. I said, I never had a doubt. I never had a doubt she could do it. I know she, like when we first asked her, she was, she was playing it up like she wasn't going to be able to do it. I was like, no, you got this. Come on now. I knew she had it. Uh, but yeah, yeah, she killed it. And the video was hilarious. Look at it. That's the thumbnail. I came in and took a screenshot of, uh... Good day, everyone. One of the ones One over of the here. motors of my Mobile 7 broke. I want to change all of them. Which ones do you recommend? And also, what soldering iron do you think is the best option now? Um... The, there's not really like one best option for soldering irons. There's a whole bunch. You really don't need like anything crazy. Just don't get like one of those uber cheap ones that are like 20 bucks. I don't know. I feel like if you spend like $40 or more on a soldering iron, you probably got a pretty decent soldering iron. Um, I don't really think there's like a go-to though, per se. I mean, just get something that works well uh, or has like decent reviews, holds temperature. Uh... As far as motors, is, the C cooler are your best bet. Is it the mob light? Spin. Is that what you said? The mob light seven? I try. Or uh, you said it said M mobile seven, I think, or something like that. Uh, yeah, it kind of depends on that mobula though. If you have the mobula seven. That's a little heavier. Mob Light 7. Mob Light 7, I personally, I would recommend the 25,000 KVs by, uh, I don't think you can get HGLRCs anymore, which that sucks because those were really good motors. Owner, been loving the maps. Any chance you could add more moving small objects to practice tracking? Like the devil and angel in the church of one of your maps are perfect. Oh, that's cool too. Cool idea too, yeah. I wonder if how how straight of a track. HGLRC0802s are like only in stock at AliExpress right now. Yeah, it's unfortunate too because I like those. Those are pretty good motors. I've had good luck with those so far. But you know what else? Um, Carlos. I was trying to figure out who asked again. Carlos, if you are in, are you in the U.S.? What country are you in? If you're in the U.S., Tiny Whoop has, oh no, they're sold out. They're sold out. Never mind. Tiny sure, Whoop sold out of them. No Never mind. Hmm. Oh, really, Clown? No kidding. I didn't know that was your first uh, successful one with a Whoop. Yeah, trippy spinning a whoop just takes a little getting used to because like trip when I trippy spin my five inch or a toothpick, I actually got to be pretty conservative with the throttle. But if I'm trippy spinning a whoop, I can pretty much just pin the throttle and it'll be fine. Um, motors, motors, motors. I would suggest 25,000 KV. I like those on the really light 75 millimeter builds with Happy bi blades. Are like the only good 25,000 KV motors in stock right now. Most Though likely, yeah. T motor ones yet and not sure when Resin Power is coming out. Not for no, a little bit. I'm in Mexico and things are hard to get here. Okay, damn. Yeah. Um Happy Model is going to be hard to get anywhere, so Thank you you, man. you might just and be the theme park is super cool. Okay, getting those if you can. Look for Happy Model uh 0802 25,000 KV motors. I would try those. I like I've those a lot. A light and, powerful enough hoop previously. and I also would recommend changing props eventually if you can get your hands on some 40 millimeter gem fan by blades. Um, those are just like light years better flight performance, in my opinion, than the HQs that came on the Mob Light 7. I actually didn't. <clears throat> I didn't like those so much. Oh gosh. Yo. Yo, Mr. Beans. Uh, Brandon. The, I'll see if my wife can uh, send it to me, send me the picture. But she showed me a screenshot the other day. She was like, hey, wherever you had to send that last package, Mr. which was Beans. to you. She was like, I've never seen this before. She she does like all the shipping stuff for like our whole house. Because she ships a How lot of stuff out too. Heads? But 
She said she's never seen it where the route that it takes from my house to your house, the delivery route, is like a perfect horizontal line from east to west coast. It's like perfect, like level. I mean, obviously it's like a plane, you know, flying, so it's going to be a straight line. But the fact that it's like, we're like exactly, if you just travel east, like dead east, you'll run into exact, close to where I live. Uh, I'll see if you can send me the picture again now. I thought it was it was kind of interesting. Thanks, Poodle Hawk. Uh, but what's up, bud? On the same latitude. Yes, exactly. There you go. That's, that would have been a way easier way to explain it. Eh? <laughs> oh God. Uh, also, Brandon, without giving too much away, uh, I did suggest. Well, I did pass off your suggestion. I didn't suggest it, but I passed off your suggestion um, about the uh, the why. Uh, so that that's in uh, in the works. Oh, that's what I was talking about earlier. How straight of a path does this one run? Does it just go in a perfect circle around, or does it? Get complicated by the tower. Next challenge: Let's see. fly LR to Brandon's house. It's not a bad challenge. Or next content creator challenge: we challenge Brandon Beans to fly from his house to our house. <laughs> trippy spin tracking. That's what I was thinking. If you want to get really good at your trippy spins, they fly in a circle. Try trippy spinning something that's slowly moving, so that you're constantly adjusting and you're never locked in. In fact, you helped me by making me a video you know? explaining how to change everything to red 75 frame and buy all the propellers and batteries that you recommended yeah. me. Uh, in fact, you helped me making uh, by making a video explaining how to change everything to. Oh, okay, no kidding. Uh. Oh, okay, Except cool. Except the knights. Those fly different. I see, I see. Okay. Well, you can trippy spin track the big guy. At least. This big fella. Seems to be going in a fairly straight... Not straight line, but a fairly clean circle. Oh, except for that right there. <laughs> As I say that, he just, like, twitches. Good day, good sir. Uh, I'm sad about red shifters. It, now that you brought up red shifters, that's, like... I loved those frames. Those frames were so neat. And uh, it seems like they just kind of stopped developing stuff. They were working on something Thoughts last on I talked to them. A heavy but, um, yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, Thoughts on Managed motors for a heavy whoop. Managed to make a little lighter and tuned it up a bit. Just need those gem fans now. Yeah, the gem fans are money. So good. I love them. It was a night and day difference for me switching from the HQs over to the gem fans. Big difference. Love it. Uh, good day to you, sir, Mr. Fractal Engineering. What's up with you, brother? Oh, I gotta remember that for next time. We can, hang on, let's try this real quick. You can power loop. Funny how the robot lady says gem fan. Trippy spin it, and then if you can... Eh. Oh, I didn't flick hard enough. I was hoping you could flick and spin backwards into this, but this is really far from that. We'll find a better way to run that line. Yeah. Whoops. Funny how the robot lady says jumpang. Yeah, she does say it a little weird. I managed to make my HC0 a little lighter. Oh, yeah, 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 you yeah, yeah, said that. Uh, thoughts on motors for a heavy whoop? That was the one I forgot to answer. Uh, what size whoop? Uh, 75, 65, 85, and how heavy are we talking? Subfractal. Um, I received my frames this week. Thank you. Mm. Those fractal frames are godlike. This map is crazy. 
to think that people in the Middle Age used to fly wooden frames and props. <laughs> and how many cells on the lipo? The next frame I want to buy is Fractal 75. Hey Eve. That logo turned out pretty good, if I say so myself. It's oh yeah, for sure, it did. Plus Crossfire and Cat's Ant. Go Fractal. It's a Mobulus 7 1S plus Crossfire and Cadex Ant. Uh, are you looking for freestyle or are you looking to just have like a cruiser? Awesome, super happy to hear stop. Nope. Oh. <laughs> oh. I was like, what did I run into? And then he just comes flying out. Like the Kool Aid Man. Want to dive the refrigerator? You want to dive the refrigerator? What? <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. You, what are those flying things? Reminds me of Zerdas. Cool. Got that wall angles a little bit there. Yep. <laughs> Thought there was a gap there. I say it corrected. Rocks. What are those flying things? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. they're, they're flying. Great, but it doesn't freestyle. I see, I see. Um, yeah, I, this is like the rare time I would suggest the uh, the lower torqued um, 10 02s. For if I it's a 75 millimeter and it's a little chunky and you're having that. trouble with catching Just power. FYI. My Mobile 6 is solid though. You can get Warranty a little bit. A with whom. You can get a little bit of a, a bump to know, and weight carrying. Will be online tomorrow. Uh, you get a little Zodaz bit of a bump a though. Of deep cut. Like that outfit Sean Connery wore in the movie is something else. I was able to carry some heavy stuff on my Whoop when I ran those motors for the like two weeks or whatever it was that I ran them. Oop. This is also a really Heads good spot. Recommends 1002. Someone tells Toto. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised he didn't come in as soon as I said the number. As soon as I meant somebody goes, hey, what motors? He's like, 1002s. The 1002s. What, what was it? A 65 millimeter race whoop? 1002s. 1002s. <laughs> Just got to slap some 1002s on there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, I would suggest them, them though. That's like a pretty decent application for them is if you have a whoop that's kind of... I mean, it's going to add more weight, but you're also going to get quite a bit more uh, on the on the butt end of it, which is, sounds like is where you need it. I mean, really, you should just try to drop some weight off of the whoop. That's like the best thing to do. But you might be able to cheat a little bit with those uh, 1002s there. So thoughtful. He left all these little gaps in between towers and stuff like that, so you can spin around them and do stuff. It's fun. Really thoughtful map here, sir. Oh, chandelier there. Oh. So I liked the stair, the stairwell in uh, that corkscrew stairwell in the first castle. I love the one that has like the gap in between the stairs and the actual pole in the center. So you can dive it, that's really cool. 1002 it is. Well, thank you MR heads. Try and shed weight elsewhere. Yeah. With antenna, Remy motor screws, light TPU canopy, etc. Yeah, uh, Renee motor screws are probably not a great idea though on a uh, heavy whoop. Um, they just blow out, like whenever you land on them too hard 
the best combination I found for durability is to leave one. Actually, I think Eve may have been one. I think Eve I like told me that. Heavy. Um, and yeah, you you can use peak as well. Um, but what I was gonna say is leave one of the screws, a, a metal one, and then I would do the other two as. Uh, I have well, I have peak and Rene screws here, but um, yeah, I think one's slightly lighter than the other, but it's a little less durable. So it kind of depends on what you're looking for. But you don't need to go that crazy doing the um, Rene screws on a uh, or peak screws on a, uh, a freestyle build. You'll save That's a little a bit shot. of weight, but you can definitely save more elsewhere. Probably in the canopy. Yes, leave the outermost screws metal on each motor. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. See, this part back here is... It gets a little dark when you're flipping around back in this little corner back here, but if you do it the other direction, you can see way better. That's what I was trying to do, is do a little power loop through both of these. Just can't tell which way I like doing it better now. About the, all about the lighting. Trying to get it close to my Cinewhoops in flight feel. Are you participating mm. in race gal heads? No, no, not not I. I am uh, not uh, very good at racing. Uh, mainly because I can't sit and grind like the same track over and over and over again. I can fly the same freestyle map for a year uh, without thinking about it. Just, you know, running different lines every time and trying different things every time. But if I have to run a course for like a week and grind it, mm -mm, mm -mm. my brain is not built for that. The guys who do that, guys and gals who do that, are a different breed than I. I can't, I can't do it. If you fly the track as fast as possible the first time, you don't have to grind P. Ooh, I think I'm gonna. Pro strat. I really like grinding tracks, but I'm not nearly as good as some. Yeah, but I've seen you race. If you, you like... get a killer time within 10 minutes. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm, I didn't, I I'm not, I'm not horrible tomorrow. at racing. I just, I'm horrible at, like, grinding the racing thing. I can't, like, sit and just grind out a track all day. I don't know. It drives me nuts. I get bored and I start getting sloppy because I'm bored and yeah, you know, one thing leads this to another. Is sick. It Good is job, nuts. Boner. Oh god, it is a very epic map again. Man kills it every time. I haven't even explored everything. There's I still stuff I haven't seen. Finding a new line and working it down. Yeah, I like that too. I was thinking maybe there it's could just be a the frame designed over to and over. motors on to save weight. That just Rattle makes me must angry. have considered this if I have, I'm guessing. I was thinking there could be a whoop frame design to twist fit motors. Uh, so that you could save weight. I can't, I can't tell you what, what Fractal has considered yet. Those ideas are way out of my league. That's like an actual engineering brain. I have like a like a child's engineering brain. That's like an TBH, actual engineering I'm not brain. a fan of time trials or it. teaching tracks. However, racing against people of a similar speed is my favorite thing ever to do in right. FPV. Yeah. I can see that, the competition of it, for sure. I'm sure that's a big part for a lot of people that like to race. Trying to get it close to Cinewhoop's feel in, uh, in its flight. Um, yeah, 10 of twos might be fine then. Uh, you're going to be adding more weight, but I mean, they're kind of made to carry a little more weight. Uh, especially if you're going to be running them on that small of a prop, you could probably get away with carrying uh, quite a bit. I know Toto had done it with like a naked Vista, I think. Or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it was, but he did something pretty heavy with a 75 millimeter and put those motors on it. And he swore by it. I myself haven't tried it. I couldn't tell you personally, but I don't know. I think that's probably a pretty good start. Huh? 
There's a ceiling there. Do you have a favorite 85 build heads? I like Yesterday's this Yesterday's FMV race was ridiculously fun. 85. Even though I lost to left, I can't be mad by the 0.05 second splits the races were decided by. Oh, Thank you, sir. No problem. Uh, race was ridiculously fun, even though I lost the web. Uh, Leviathan's like a freak of nature, though, isn't he? Um, and <laughs> that's what you lost by? Get out of here. Uh, that's crazy. It's too much. Too much, too much. Y'all are, again, you guys are just a you know, different type, you know? Different type of pilot altogether. <laughs> not that that's a bad thing. It's just not Leviticus, not Leviathan. I can't catch oh, Leviathan Levit P. Leviticus. Is Sorry. the light better now? This map is also flyable with a 5 inch. I'm flying a 5 inch. Uh, I just handle it like a toothpick, bro. That's just, that's just me. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Um, not about the 5 inch, though. I am flying a 5 inch. I think the light's better now, yeah. Last night, it was get, I was getting this like really weird uh, motion blur on my monitor, and I, I feel like it was just the lighting was so low, everything was getting kind of like muddy and smeared looking. But it looks way better now, I like it. I can see where all the little windows are and all that. This? Did we come? Oh yeah, this is the dragon head. I knew that. I want to make sure I find everything. We must explore. Gotta look for blues clues. Oh, there he is. We'll pop up unicorns. Oh, and they got red eyes, too. Nice. Oh. Stellar re-entry the bigger tower, please. Stellar re-entry the bigger tower? Like, the whole entire tower? Because <laughs> I don't think I could do that. Are you talking about this one? It was really... Doing that whole thing would be insane. If you get that flick all the way up to the top, is that even possible? You just have to... <laughs> get it. There it is. Full send. The whole tower. <gasps> Those are so tempting to try to fly through. I also made a little jail next to the casket room with some unicorns. That are in jail? Nice one, bruv. A -A -A -A. Nice one, bruv. -a. I said, nice, bruv. <laughs> ah, I still haven't watched that movie. I gotta go back and watch it. Human traffic. Such a good one. Classic. Well, for me at least. People are like, what the hell is human traffic? That is intense to try to get that in the center and hold it. 
as an oval, that's pretty crazy. I thought squares were hard. Ovals are pretty hard. Rectangles, I feel like, are impossible for me to trippy spin up. The rectangle dives I've not been able to do yet, I don't think, successfully. looking at the corkscrew that staircase is so cool I is that a is that a pre-built that has the spiral like away from it or did you put this together these guys right here because that's so clean to have that little split there We missed one. Those stairs are small parts, but you can connect them to each other. Oh, okay. Well, it's cool, because I feel like the other tower, or the other castle, the stairs were like this, right? Where it was, like, right on it. There was no gap. Which is cool to trip you spin up and dive next to. But the one where you can just dive, like, right down the center of it, where it's got the gap, that is cool. I like that a lot. There are big and small stairs. I see. Okay. Oh. oh man, I can't wait until the roll works on my radio again. Stop it. Oh, heck yeah. My wife um, took my son out to a uh, place up the street that I edited a commercial for. I did a little ad for them. And when she went there with my son, they gave her, her five free passes. MR smelly pants. Which is sweet. So now they got, a, they got a free day to play, and they get four more days after that. Well... Yeah, yeah, four more days after that. What's around this tower? Nothing. All I need is just one tower and a little awning. That's it. We can have fun with just that. <laughs> I could have zoned out and flew next to that thing for like 15 more minutes. <laughs> I won't do that to you, but definitely could have. Oh. Never enough trippy spin places. I agree. That and these little uh, parallel bars here are a lot of fun too. Do your little sideways power loops up. After stream looking at parts to erect a backyard tower. Nice. You should. I will. I'm going to build one of these. Just put it in my backyard. Honey! I know. We got a watchtower. Like. <laughs> This spot looks so cool, man. All these little ring things. This is brilliant. These these things right here. This is why I didn't get to look at the majority of the map last night. Is because I was just sitting over here flying this. 
I couldn't stop. It was too much fun. Oops. No. All right, I'm not getting stuck on the towers again. Move. Try something else. <laughs> Good grief. That hang time. Oh, I'm gonna break something IRL today. I am, I am flying loose. Be careful about what I fly today. I like that too. Built in six days. Is there, there's like little spots you can bail out almost all over the place. Built this in six days? About 60 hours work. Well, it's epic. And I love the fact that like a lot of it's underground. It's like under the, the water. That's neat. Because it, it doesn't look like it's going to be this giant deep castle, but then it goes down really far. Oh, I did not mean to get out of that, but we made it. I'm trying to see. There we go. I was trying to get a little flick out of there. Uh, here are the jail cells. Or the cages. Oh, there they are. <laughs> well, where are all the unicorns? They've all escaped. That castle design is a flooding nightmare. Hi all. Oh, I Didn't love it. get a notification, so missed the beginning of the stream. Aww. Hope you had a nice vacation, Heads. I did, thank you. That I did. We had fun, family had fun, good time. Uh, and your stuff got shipped, I believe, yesterday. I'm pretty sure it went out yesterday. Mr. Ben Blue won himself a bottle of hot sauce. Some of that we bleed. Sweet hot sauce. Oh lord. Yeah, YouTube oh. notifications don't work for me either. Need a Discord bot. Yeah. Does rating the maps help you? At Boner FPV. So yeah, you'll you'll get that, Ben. Um, yeah, well. Coming from where I live to where you are, it's going to take a little bit, but it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, the shipping company that we use is pretty good about uh, international shipping. Oh, I got it all turned around. Yeah. I'll wait with firing up the barbecue for now. There you go. Hey. Good, good call. Just make sure that if you get chicken to try it on, they actually give you 
your damn chicken. We also realized after we were done recording that not only did we not get our chicken, we didn't get our mac and cheese. We ordered mac and cheese to try it on too. I was kind of excited to What's try the Weebly hot sauce evasion? on some uh, Greetings from other pilots are always welcome, but does nothing some special mac and cheese, for the tracks. You know? Oh snap, what up brother? I see you. I saw you commenting the other day. Uh, talking about you wanted to get challenged. I'm just gonna say that you're pretending, you're acting like your name is not on a list. I don't know. I don't know, man. Somebody may have told me something. We'll see. We got a couple lined up, though, uh, that yes, we're working on right now. The next one uh, if should be has pretty a fun. Challenge for me. Bring it on. Oh yeah! Somebody hit uh, hit Boner FPV with another map challenge. Please hit him with another map challenge. Oops! Get in there. Let me think. Can you do some Baronese? Maduro Dam, smiley face. Madura Dam? Excuse you? Uh, can you do some Baronese? Uh, can who do that? Me? For your challenge? Is that what you're saying? The next challenge, the next one we're challenging, some of you might know who it is already, because we talked about it a little bit. We talked a little bit about what the challenge was going to be, and that one, I'm looking forward to. That one's going to be funny. Not for my challenge, LOL, like in the sim. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, what do you, uh, what, uh, yeah, sure. Um, like anywhere or how you how you feeling on it i haven't done those in a little bit maduro dam is possible but i don't have a lot of buildings to use oh Madeira dam's a place i see i see i see i should have figured that since he was just asking for map ideas bargain the island lol You already did so yeah, you already got like a lot of the, a lot of the cool Maduro ideas you've Dam already gotten out of the way. Attraction in Holland. You've gotten uh all the haunted things out of the way so far. The haunted theme park's pretty sick. It's you kind of a theme park here in the Netherlands where they have replicated various parts of the country and I think even international exactly to scale. Oh cool. Barony the Island. Barony the Island? I don't what? I don't what island? Like the thing that I'm on? I'm I uh I don't, I don't know. Are you talking about through these? Maybe? I don't know. Oh. You Ben, I'm Dutch. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all speaking speaking similar terms here. You guys know what you're talking about. I have no idea. Don't listen to the cheeseburger. I'm just being goofy. Oh, okay. Well, <clears throat> we'll see how goofy you are when that challenge comes your way, buddy. Okay. Whistler train wreck boner FPV. Bunch of old crashed train carts in a forest Ooh. next to a wood bridge over a river. That's the other reason your name is honestly a little further down on the list is because Challenging somebody that makes it that far in iGal, there's no suspense to that. You know what I mean? There's nothing we're going to give you that you're, like, not going to be able to do. You know what I mean? Like, if you made it that far in iGal, are we really going to be able to challenge you with anything? Or is it just for fun at that point? 
So that's why you were a little further down. There's a couple other people yeah, that are a little further down the list that's because why I suggested it. Because you was guys did. Of a place in the Netherlands. You guys did so good in iGal. I was like, well, <laughs> it's kind of weird to challenge somebody that like already just kicked ass in a uh, freestyle, well, sort of freestyle competition. At fear, that train thing is possible. The way to challenge at Avasian is to not make the challenge just at Avasian, but to get him to do a group that all does the challenge. To do a group that all does the challenge? You mean like he has to use more than himself to do it? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, get him to recruit other FPV pilots into the challenge. Oh, I see, I see. I see, I see, I see. Uh, where, does it, where do you live? Canada? Soon there will be an update in Velocidrone, and they will put way more stuff in the editor. Also, Apocalypse stuff. Oh, yeah. Looking forward to that. That'll be soon. I'm excited for that. New things to fly around. New scenes. To decorate. Avasian challenge. Find a UFO and Maddie flip it. I'm in Canada <laughs> yet. Uh, too much stuff doesn't get broken again. I'm gonna this make you Halloween power loop. A very special scene. A Canadian moose. You have to befriend a Canadian goose, whilst power looping a Canadian moose. Two most feared animals in the animal kingdom. Befriending Canadian geese is impossible. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Lol, I've yet to see a moose in real life. That's why I said it. <laughs> he has to first befriend a Canadian goose. Because we know Canadian gooses are definitely known for their mild tempers. <laughs> Can't Very seem to find mild them mannered. When I ride my Howls. polar bear to school. <laughs> While tracking up the snow covered mountain to my school, I uh yeah. Didn't see any didn't see any meese. No meese is out today. Moose eye. <laughs> Don't FCK right, with Canadian geese. Let her Kenny. That's a fact. There you go. Nice. Come Got to it. think of it, I've seen more polar bears in Manitoba than moose. Got a letter, Kenny fan. Got my Canadian gooses, Canadian mooses bit. One hundred percent. Hundred P. Hundred P. Crush a Sando before Pracky. Hundred P. somewhere to go upstairs we don't there is a big theme park <laughs> in holland called of telling maybe that's something to build heads Ooh, you are killing good. it in this sim thanks man i fly the sim a lot though so there's that i fly like complete ass in every other sim yeah. that and it helps that uh boner fpv maps are so easy to fly and just kind of flow through. He's watched me fly enough in this to where he like knows where to put things so that I just kind of accidentally have a good time on it. <laughs> like the map just kind of makes sense for me. 
which I hope other people would enjoy as well. Hopefully it's not just a bunch of weird stuff that only uh, I like flying around. Oh, that's not open. This side's open. I'm trying to see about a sideways power loop over into it, but that's a little too complicated for my brain right now. Hmm. Have I missed anything? Stefan, am I missing anything at all? Did I hit all the all the attractions already? This map is insane. My shitty laptop could never run it though. LOL, I need an upgrade. Oh yeah. Yeah, you do. If you can't run um Polyworld maps too, like he builds them on this Those map in particular just because it's a little easier. Try to power loop from one to the other. Uh, there's two green dives? These things, you mean? You had the freestyle room, I think. One to the other? I don't, wait, I don't... Alright, clarify. I don't know which one you're talking about. If you're talking about those, I'm not sure how I do that. Um, oh yeah, but so he builds them on this Polyworld map, so it's a little easier on computers to load everything in. It's a little less, um, a little less resource heavy. Yeah, those two green dives on the wall. How do I power loop that, though, I guess, is my question. Like... Fly up one this way, just straight up. <laughs> try to flick back over the have to try that later. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I would just Can have to like dive zigzagging through the circles that are above each other like a stack. You dive zigzag through the circles that are above each other like a stack. These you mean? Are you talking about like how I just did or no? Wait, zigzag dive. I don't know what zigzag diving is. Explain yourself. Stairs were there. Just trying Dive to get back and go into that. Through a hoop. Flip over to go through the next one down. Spang. Dive through one hoop. Flip over to go through the next one down. Like power loop each one? Is that what you're saying? Hmm. I don't know. If it's usually if it's something that I need to think about, I will not be able to do and it. Repeat. I can't I can't no fly backslash. while thinking about it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not sure. I guess I guess you mean kind of like that. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I'm thinking to move my logo to the outside of the building so it's more in sight. Yes, I was just about to say when I saw it earlier. Uh, let me go find it again. Actually, when I saw it earlier, I was thinking the same thing. You should put it somewhere. Um, outside and up high so you can see it like right when you spawn in that'd be cool the hoops that are on top yeah. of each other vertically not the horizontal loops oh i see i see i see um then yeah you yeah you probably could do a little ziggy zaggy dive yeah, I would move the logo like. Mm, 
Hmm. Yeah, where is a good spot to put that? I do think it should go out front somewhere. So you can see it right when you spawn in. That'd be cool. But you're the designer. You figure it out where it's best put because I will not be able to. Turn the logo into something big you can freestyle on. Oh, there you go. That's a good idea. No, oh, mama. Are those even? Oh, they are even. Maybe on the outer wall, if you start the map, you will see it. Like right there? You talking about like down here or up here? Which wall? That wall or this one? You can just slap it right up here. Just bam, right there. Right up near the top. One of them. Any tips on shipping out packages for a giveaway? I just finished one and now I need to send five gifts out. Oh, that's a good spot next to the green dive. Uh... I don't know what's available in Canada if um, I use uh, Pirate Ship is what it's called, the one that I use for shipping stuff out, but um, they're using pretty good price and pretty good shipping. I've, I haven't heard any complaints, so I'm assuming it's good shipping because nobody's complained yet and we've sent out a lot of stuff. So I don't want to just say without um, asking people. But I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it was good shipping. Uh, but yeah, you'd have to check to see if they do. Um, if they ship from Canada, I'm not sure. Should I not go to a nearby postal office? I've never sent anything out, let alone returned anything other than to Amazon, LOL. Oh, uh, I mean, you can go to the post office. I don't for larger items. It depends on what you're sending. So if, if I'm sending out like a t-shirt or something like that, something small, I'll do that just through the post office. Uh, if it's going to another country, I'll use pirate ship usually and they'll pick the best thing. Like they either do it through FedEx or UPS or whatever. They figure all of it out. Oops. Well, I don't mind telling you, sir, uh, you killed it with this one again. This is going to be another map that I'm going to be stuck flying. I'm sending out like five bags, a drone, a frame, and five props to each winner. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's up to you. I would check the rates at the post office. Um, if that's, a, if that's you know, like something you're concerned about. Uh, I would definitely just check to see what the local rates are up at the post office. You don't need, even need to go up there. I'm pretty sure they got them listed online somewhere. Um, they might have, even have a shipping calculator where you just weigh the things and then put in how much they weigh, and it'll tell you roughly uh, how much it'll cost to ship it. Uh, there's a few different ways you could do it. You just got to figure out what's the best one for you in Canada. Pirate ship doesn't work in Canada. So sad. That is sad. Um, boo hiss. 
Well, yeah, that was that was my go-to for you. That was my go-to recommendation. Shoppers Drug Mart usually has post offices inside that'll quote you if you bring the stuff in. Yeah, I was just trying, trying to save my trip. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have an online calculator as well. You just gotta measure your, you just gotta measure your package. <laughs> uh, you gotta measure your package and give them the numbers, and then they will uh, give you an Thanks, estimate. E Oh yeah, you got to. Uh, you should team up with Edoc to do your challenge. I should make Edoc be part of it. Aren't you both Canadians? He lives like one thousand two hundred kilometers away. LOL. Nothing, dude. Hop, skip, and a jump. Y'all got yes. snowmobiles and polar bears Edoc, or whatever he said. Drive out to Winnipeg. Hey, hey, hey. Do it. It's gonna be part of the challenge, so you're gonna fail if he doesn't. <laughs> we got to make it something way harder than just a trick for you, unfortunately. That's been a problem because I've had a couple other people ask me too, like just you know buddies of mine that were in Igal, and they're like, "Hey, that's like the worst drive to LOL." Could I could I uh, do one of the challenges too? Underscore, like underscore 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 sure. underscore 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 excuse Challenge, give me money. <laughs> that's the challenge. Challenge, give me a dollar. It's not a bad challenge. No, we'll do something fun, something difficult for you. We'll brainstorm on it. This next one we're doing, I, it, that one should be good. Uh, well, all of them have been good. I don't know why I'm saying it like any of them sucked. All of them have been good and fun so far. Uh, but I just, I'm just saying that this next one that we have lined up is, is pretty, pretty fun. I'm excited for the next one. I haven't done a cross Canada road trip since having kids. Oh, having kids is the perfect time to take a, a cross-Canada road trip. It sounds like a brilliant time to do all that. Why not? Why haven't you done you any You guys traveling? are killing it. Love the content and creativity. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. We're trying. We're trying to be a little different and get everybody involved, too, while we're at it. Um, but, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Which reminds me, if anybody has anyone that they think of that we should add to the list, uh, by all means, just hit me with a DM or drop them in the chat the here or whatever. The extra money for the three-hour plane trips is worth it over the 20-hour drive when you have kids, LOL. It's only a three-hour plane trip, man? That's not. Dan, I love fishing in Quebec. Katie, who doesn't love fishing in Quebec? Wayne, hate great Quebec. fishing in Quebec. <laughs> Quebec. Daryl, I fucking hate Quebec. Uh, <laughs> I thought you got all the, the pronunciations right, too. That was epic. Well done. Well done. That's such a good scene. Like a good, good episode in general. The French. I'm gonna keep doing that. It's so funny. Copy pasted. Oh, okay, perfect. So somebody already had it prepared. <laughs> somebody did the legwork. I'm still trying to find ways to grow my name in FPV. I luckily out of the blue had one video blow up and help me grow, but I don't know how I'll ever follow that video. <laughs> LOL, it has won 10k views never again. Oh, now nah, you'll get another one like that for sure, dude. If you can do it once, you can do it again. You just got to find the formula. 
And you gotta, you just gotta keep chucking stuff at the wall until it hits. Are those not even? Was I not lined up with the top one? Am I being bamboozled? I think Ben Blue was talking about that earlier. I think that's it. Is that how you were saying you yeah. wanted me to try diving? You're talking about Canada and people in different places there made me think of that Quebec bit. Yeah, that's a good part. The I robot part. voice makes me sound so sad, lol. <laughs> Algorithm favors PPL that upload a lot. That is the move. That, okay, that's what it awesome. was. Awesome. Uh, I was trying to wrap my head around what you were saying, and I, I got it. I figured it out after flying around for a bit. Uh, my brain solved the mystery. Took a little bit. Uh, let's not talk about it, though. Let's just move on. Uh, the robot voice does make you sound a little sad. I could change it, but the other the the dude voice is pretty bad. He's pretty aggressive too. I feel like he hates me. Heads, is Infinity Loops your full time? What do you do? I'm curious to know more about you. Uh, Infinity Loops is an LLC. Um, recently an LLC, but it is an LLC, so it's technically a business. Um, well, not technically, it is a business. Um, <clears throat> but I don't do just YouTube stuff for it. I do a lot of real life stuff, not so much drone stuff, because I'm still working on the uh, part 107, but um, that's coming. Uh, but as far as right now, I just do a lot of like videos and uh, commercials and stuff for local businesses. I just go around and offer to do it for them, uh, do like a little free 15 second one for them just so they can see it. And You're tearing that chimney work, up harder work out, than Fred Dibna. Work out some, uh, work out some deals here and there, but, uh, that's all I do for now is just those two things, uh, YouTube stuff and IRL, uh, a little bit of flying, more so the, uh, editing and video recording and all that jazz. That sounds like the life, haha. -ha. I'm doing the part 107 made easy course right now. I want my license. Yes, yeah. I, I suggest that anybody that yeah, wants to get into that kind of stuff. You say free 15s commercials. Definitely. Is that it. like a demo and you try to sell them a longer commercial? Yes, yeah. So I'll show them just a little something um, of what I can do as far as like just a quick edit. Uh, sometimes it's not of their store. It's like of a different place that I just have like I have a bunch of them saved on my phone So I can just kind of show them to them and just you know, give them a little little preview Sometimes I'll say like I, if you want I'll do one for here for like maybe 15 seconds Let you see what it looks like give you my card and if you're interested hit me back if not Whatever, it's all good day moves on other people to see uh, but so far, I, I have a couple of uh, uh, clients that I've done jobs for that has been fun, uh, that I've gotten some experience, a lot of experience from, um, but more importantly, that I've made some money from. So that's always good, too. But uh, yeah, we just recently got monetized on YouTube. So it's not that's like neat. I've been it's not like I've been making money off of YouTube or any really at all. I don't think uh, I'd have to check my um Google AdSense. I haven't looked at it in a while. I have to go now. I loved watching you fly and chatting. Thanks, homie. Let's keep in touch. Ah, of course, man. Do you yeah. Know what We're going to be in touch real soon. I'm looking to fly my sub 250 over crowds. Real soon. Uh, yeah, we'll talk in DMs, though. I got you. We're going to get something get something lined up for you. Uh, do you know what insurance to get if I'm looking to fly my sub 250 over crowds? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, rules. There's also different rules for different things and regulations and all that that I'm still learning. So, uh, yeah, I don't. I don't have all that kind of info just yet. I'm pretty sure. 
oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to say it. Sustained flight. There we go. Over crowds is uh, a no-no in certain situations, but I don't think it's. I don't think that's the case with sub 250. But I, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Definitely gonna want to look that up. Face smiling face with hearts. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. See what I did? I turned it off. Hot face smiling face with hearts. So I don't have to hear all the dumb emojis being read anymore. See that? Get out of here. Mm -mm -mm. that deleting the message doesn't also delete the username too yeah it is <laughs> yeah it as is. much fun as we have knowing where to get viruses p wait but i was gonna find true love <laughs> no my chance at true love there it goes it's gone it's gone forever where else am i gonna find hot young singles in my area Get out there towards it. Oh boy. That oval, man. It's good practice. That, the oval towers, and uh, the statues. Trying to follow a statue in the tribute spin. singles in your area are looking to extend your car's warranty. <laughs> yes. And give you $11,000 from a grant that you're owed. All you need to do is send me a thousand dollars in Google Play gift cards and I will send you eleven thousand dollars cold hard cash. What's that? That doesn't make sense to you? It's not my fault you don't understand science. Send me the gift cards. Is there anything in real life I could trippy spin underneath that moves? What if I tried to do a trippy spin with a whoop around one of those poles on a merry-go-round while the merry-go-round's on? There's a merry-go-round, like, not too far from my house. I just went there the other day with my son. I wonder if I can go there now, because it'll the be The funny off. ones are the ones for errors to streaming services I wasn't currently subscribed to. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, hey, you've, uh, did you know you, um, renewed your Norton antivirus? It's, it, we charged you. It was $300. Do you, did you still want that? Never in my life have I paid a dime for an antivirus. How dare you, Norton? Oh, oh boy. Oh, we gotta go get some food soon here. I have yet to eat today. I need some grub. These rings are bananas. Maybe under a cable car in real life. Ooh, under a cable car. Yeah, I'm trying to think of something that's... I guess I could always do it on, like, a train. Like, on the metro. Where they got the handrail. Just hop on there when it's late and nobody's really on it. So I don't smack anybody in the face. 
Or I could just. Those Fridays, I have to force myself to eat. Normally, don't get hungry until lunch, but I lift at lunch and can't do that mm. well if I'm not well fed. Oh yeah, I feel you there, dude. So I keep eating at like midnight now, like an idiot, because I stay up for two hours boxing after I put my son to bed, and then I'm starving after I'm done doing that. But it's really like the only quiet time I have to be able to do anything like that. This map is so sick. I love it. So these two are uneven. Yeah, alright, these two are uneven, but these two are even. I gotta remember that. So you gotta go a little higher for that one. And lower for the back one. Okay. I'll get used to it. We'll get used to it. Don't you worry. Because you're on the train, it will almost be the same as static, I think. Only during acceleration and deceleration would it be different than a static object, I think. Well, no, because it's still floating in the air, right? It's floating in the air. It's not actually on the train. You know what I mean? It's not traveling with the train. It's suspended in air. So technically, if you hovered on a train, there's nothing to move you forward with the train because you're not on it. So I think that would work, right? Isn't that how science works? Isn't that math? Is that right? Can't you, like, jump... If you're in an elevator going down and it feels like you jumped a little higher than you normally could and vice versa it feels like you got like short jumps if you try to do it while the elevator's going up i remember doing that when i was a kid uh would it not work like that if the drone is in the train the air in the train moves with the train Right, yeah. So if you threw something up in the air on a train, it's just gonna fall normally. No, no, even a, even a microscopic amount in any other direction. Because the train's air is moving too? I don't know, man. I'm not a scientist. I'm confused. I feel like doing it on a, a merry-go-round would work, though, right? Is that going to work? Right? If it's just rotating, it's like... I don't think enough to these. notice. When I was a kid, I found a bird in a trailer after a trip and have questioned ever since if he could fly in there while driving. <laughs> the air inside the train is moving. Right, 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 okay. So then, on a merry-go-round, it would work. Because the air is wide open. It's just like static air around it, right? Well, I guess not perfectly static, but you know what I mean. Because it's not a container with air moving. Is that what we're getting at? Just throw up a ball or your keys while you're on a train and you will probably catch the object like usual and not smack yourself in the face. Uh, acceleration wise I think if the train is going a constant speed and you jump you land in the same spot if the train is accelerating then you move back if it is slowing down you move forward okay I see isn't science fun oh oh that's not one of the other windows yeah remember these tiny little guys are here too Yeah, and the merry-go-around also continuously changes direction circularly. Right, right, right. So that'll be kind of like these little floating statues, because these guys are floating around in circles. They're just floating around in massive circles. Whereas the other one will be a little, a little tight. A bit tight. I still want to try it, though. Alright, what time 
Oh, all right. Hour and a half. That's good. That's good. Hour and a half deep dive into a boner FPV map is scratching the surface, but it's good. It's a good start. Oh, Mother Mary, it is hot down here already. All right, let's get all that turned off and out of here. I got a tower to build in my backyard. Happy Friday, everyone. What it do? Don't hey, want your do? boner freestyle Happy session Friday, to you. last more than four hours. Well, yeah, you want to consult a uh, physician if your boner FPV freestyle session lasts longer than four hours, for sure. Definitely going to want to go to a hospital or see a doctor about that. It's risky, risky business. Um, what, uh, what do we got going on this weekend? Anybody doing anything fun? Time travel is the craziest. My wife's If you go hyperspeed, you go forward in time. If your drone goes hyperspeed while you're flying it, can you see into the future? Hmm. <laughs> These are some, uh, brain scratchers you guys are asking now. These are some... Fun fly at rodeo grounds tomorrow. Track going up Ooh. on Sunday. Nice. Fun fly sounds like fun. Obviously. Um, nice watching you fly name. and chatting. Thanks all. Of course. Good to see you guys, as always. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow night. We're going to do a Saturday night stream. So if you didn't get a chance to hang around for long today, we'll be back then. I'll try to post it on Facebook more often. My, my Facebook... Uh, when I'm going live, because I know YouTube's notifications are horrible. Fun flies so. are usually a bunch of people plugging in over each other right now. Not a lot of experience in the group yet. That's okay. Yeah, I could see that as being not so fun. But we're improving P. Hey, as long as you're making steps forward, that's fine. Making mistakes means you're learning. It means you're trying. It's good. That's proof, I think. That's actually the saying. Mistakes are proof that you're trying, I think. Uh, anywho, um, P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P Fun to watch today. Have a nice day. You guys do the same. Enjoy your weekends if you're not here tomorrow night. Um, if you don't follow me on Facebook, it's just, uh, Heads McFlyawoop, actual government last name, uh, over on Facebook, and I'll try to remember to post there tomorrow before we go live. Uh... Some All right, guys. channels I saw put up kind of a notification on YouTube that they are going to be live at a certain time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll figure out how to do that, too. Uh, we just got all this stuff, so I got to... See you next time, buddy. Dig through it. Um, see you next time as well. I'll talk to you, uh, I'm sure, before then. Uh, thanks for the map again, dude. This is going to be a lot of fun to fly, and I'll probably fly it again tomorrow night with OG if he's around. If not, then... I'll just have a multiplayer map open. Everybody can hop in and fly like we did the uh, the Wildwood Center when we did that map. Do the same thing. Uh, all right, boys. I'm out of here. I'll let you have a safe weekend if I don't see you Gotta tomorrow. make an announcement on a platform that doesn't use an algorithm to hide things. True. True. I can make community posts on YouTube, but I don't know how well those go out to people. Like, I know it shows up in your subscription feed, but I don't... I'll try it. We'll see. All right, fellas, I gotta go eat. Holler at your boy. Peace.